My BFI player choice this week is an acclaimed British screen adaptation of one of the most widely celebrated British novels of the post-war period. A story that's become a touchstone for discussions of the human spirit, the formation of society, the nature of evil, and the corrupted innocence of childhood. Peter Brook's 60s masterpiece, Lord of the Flies. William Golding's 1954 novel, Lord of the Flies, which would become a set text in British secondary schools, was essentially a corrupted reimagining of R.M. Ballantyne's The Coral Island, in which the stranded children don't encounter evil on a desert island, but instead bring it with them. In Golding's story, the schoolboy evacuees descend from civilized order to violent infighting and chaos, with the title referring not only to the pig's head on a stick of the narrative, but also to the biblical Beelzebub, whose bestiality seems to take possession of their nature. Nigel Neal had written an unproduced screenplay of Lord of the Flies in the 50s, but theatre legend Peter Brook wanted his film to have an air of almost documentary-style spontaneity. Thus, he assembled a cast of young non-professionals whom he took to the Puerto Rican island of Vieques. Here, he would shoot over 60 hours of footage, often relying on improvisation, explaining each scene to the boys and then allowing them to explore the dialogue and the act in the most naturalistic fashion. The result is a film that would take a couple of years to edit and dub, with some of the cast's voices breaking during that extended production. But it was worth the wait, with Lord of the Flies competing for the Cannes Palme d'Or in May 1963 and featuring in the National Board of Review's coveted list of the top ten films of that year, alongside the likes of The Great Escape, Lilies of the Field, This Sporting Life and Tom Jones. I first saw this at my school's film society, where we had to get a letter from our parents saying it was okay for us to watch it. Now, that may sound daft, but Lord of the Flies really does go deep into the heart of darkness, a film about children with a very adult subtext. 